I'm Madison Devinish and uh, I'm from Barbados. For a long time, track and field wasn't really on my radar. Uh, I used to be into cricket and uh, soccer. Until uh, one day, one of my best friends just pulled me to a side and was like, you know, stuff isn't really working out for you in those fields. You don't know what's wrong with trying track and field. So, you know, I gave it a shot and everything started to come together at that point. My transition into, you know, the, the school when I got here, it was, a little, it was a little rough at first, but, you know, uh, I became more open, more social, started to realize, you know, I had a really close-knit family here just waiting for me. You know, Andy's the, he, he's the kind of guy that you can build a program around. You know, I, I think, just to, just to see him develop, not only as a student athlete, as a runner, as a sprinter, uh, in that way he's come so far. You know, my junior year I got injured at uh, NCAA Regionals in Kansas uh, during the 4x1 and that was a huge setback for me. You know, mentally, physically, that was an Olympic year as well. We had a lot of dreams and a lot of goals that we weren't able to even get near. Following the injury, you know, we had some assessments, some treatments, and Coach Bovi, you know, he, he allowed me to redshirt. For a long time, you know, it was just a lot of frustration uh, with myself, specifically, coming back, because I, after the injury, I didn't work out. I got shut down. When I come back to school, you know, I was trying to, you know, get back into the preseason workouts, and my body wasn't responding the way I wanted it to. I couldn't, simple things as like, keeping up a certain, certain tempo in the workout, whether it's accelerations or whatever, it's just like, it just felt like my body wasn't cooperating. Last year was very difficult to see him, you know, that his spirit was, was not the same. It was very difficult, I'll be honest with you. You know, I thought about giving up, going home, because, you know, this, I want this sport to be my life. And in, in, in many aspects, it felt like my life wasn't really working out in, in that realm. You know, school was fine, everything else is fine, but I love this sport, so. You know, that struggle was, it was pretty tough. Think about two years ago where he was at, um, getting injured at regionals, and then having the red shirt last year, and then his comeback this year has been remarkable. The first semester, this, lap, this past school year, we had a time trial, we had a 20 second run and a 45 second run. And that was the best I'd felt in two years. I was able to get up to speed, hit certain gears I haven't hit in a long time. And you know, once I, once I was able to feel that thrill again, I knew that, you know, this year was gonna be I didn't know it was going to be this good, but I, <laughs> I knew it was going to be decent. As he's grown, the team has grown. We've gotten better. You know, every, every we moved up, you know, place by place. And for, for him to come back indoors his senior year and win the, the 200, the 400, and, and lead off the 4x4 for us to win was an amazing meet. He's, he's really kind of turned into a, a grandpa in a way on his wisdom and, and the things that he brings to this men's team. And he's, he's definitely been... Uh, one of the biggest reasons why our men's program has climbed to, to the top of the Missouri Valley. Our freshman year, if, you, if you'd asked us about this happening, we had been like, you're crazy. There's been no way, but you know, the transition has been beautiful. Uh, the coaches have done a great job, you know, turning around the, the image of the program. It's a testament to them, you know, all the hard work they put in. Jalen is uh, very much like Andy, is a student of the game. You know, for us to get to where we are now is an unbelievable thing, and I'm so proud of those guys for all the hard work they put in. Coming in, I just really wanted to contribute to the entire team, and it's really infectious in the way that when we, when someone else wins, we want to, like, kind of just grows and piles on top of each other, and we really just push each other to get better each and every day. I love it. It's the idea that, you know, people believe in you as well. It's just, it just makes life so much easier. I think for me, that's wherever I go from here, that's one thing that I'll be looking for in whatever environment that I'm in in the future.